What's up guys, it's Mo, and today's video is gonna be like a planner setup, a planner stack, a planner something or other. I'm gonna show you, I have three active planners. Um, as of right now, I am I have two really, really active and I have one that I am trying to get back into. Um, so, three classic size planners um, is what I actively work in. I have switched some stuff up, I just wanna share them with you, just wanna share how I have them set up and whatnot. They're not done. I probably will do another type of, because there's lots of stuff that I don't know, want to do in here that I haven't even done yet. So once it is kind of set up, I will probably do another type of, this is my work planner. This is my, I don't know, everyday planner type of thing. So we will start with my work planner. So I was in a half letter size disc bound uh, planner. It was dot grid inserts. I just drew a horizontal layout every week. Um, and I planned like a month in advance or not a month in advance, but like I planned a month at a time. I laid down stickers, I guess a month at a time. And I have since switched jobs and also moved into a classic size. I thought that I would want that more, um, at least for what I'm hoping to get out of this job. And so I really liked how I was tracking tasks and whatnot in my previous position at my old company. So I'm hoping that this is something that I can, um, you know, I don't know, carry on and, and still be relevant. So I have a Notique frosted, I guess it's like a frosted cover on it. It's got a little bit of scratches here because it was rubbing it actually against this paper clip that was in the front of my Notique, like Safiano uh, planner cover thing. Um, but yeah, so I just have this, di not divider, planner cover. And then we're probably gonna get some glare. Maybe I'll hold it up like this. Are we getting glare? Yeah, glare. Okay, so you can't really see it, but it is a like geometric doily type of thing from Rose Colored Days that was in, I think this was the May subscription. And then I have a top loading envelope that's also from Rose Colored Days. Let's see if I can do something like this so that you can see both of these stickers or sticker sheets are shiny too. Um, so much glare, I'm so sorry. Does that work better? Yeah, so that's what that is. Top load, it's in a top loading envelope. And then I have this like little dashboard that I made from Happy Planner tissue paper. I have a video on that. I have a two, I think it's two by two inches, like three, six, nine, twelve gridded page protector thing here from the Happy Planner that I plan to put, I don't know, something in to just make like a dashboard. Then I have a sticky note dashboard. Then I have my May, it's almost, yeah, it's like the last, almost the last week of May, actually, when I finished filming this. Um, May calendar, again, this was from a Rose Colored Days subscription, but that'll show you what it looks like. Um, then I have this, which I want to do task cards, and I kind of wish I had done task cards for my other planner like my other work planner and use them because they I, they seem interesting so I'm going to do task cards here um, and then I have a stencil and then we move into the tabs are all from the wild style I think it is or, or was a planner box from the happy planner so I'm using the dividers there we move here into some dailies I am hoping to be able to use the dailies more uh, as I move into doing more stuff in my position but I just have the dailies in here right now and then we move into weeklies I don't really want to show you anything like specifically in my work planner like how it I don't know how what I actually write in there but I can show you I guess like I don't know let's do something like this so this is this current week and I set it up most weeks like this a horizontal Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and then like a note section and I'm using standard vertical kits there is a plan with me up I believe on not this spread but the spread the spread here so you can see how I lay this out and then I just use this to write down tasks I just use it to write down things I notes whatever I've got to ask so I do that so whoops I just ripped it out and I think this paper is from a wrong wrong um 
happy notes from ages ago and I will actually leave I have a template let me find it I have a template that I use to draw the layouts here again it's gonna be a bunch of glare um, but I will leave a link to that so you guys can uh, have a template if you want to draw this out in like your work planner as well um, but yeah so this is sorry I'm trying to get the glare I'm not really good I need to fix my lights and I have the stuff to do it I just haven't done it yet um, so yeah this is like a work from home spread it's from the kit is from I think I printed it in 2020 as well um, uh, what's the name of that shop print pretty coat bandit and then I have rose colored days overlays and some I think caress press overlays so yeah I've been loving this style because I can use my standard vertical stickers it's like super inspiring to me I'm so excited so then the next section I'll open it here is like notes so I have note paper still yet in here obviously if I need more I would just bring it over here but I have notes paper I was taking notes um, like during calls and stuff orientation or whatever that I've been doing so I have note paper this is a different this is like some OG happy planner note paper and then again some note paper and then I have some of these things from previous like planners this is like the no drama llama like monthly layout planner and I thought it would be helpful. I could use this for something if I needed it and then have like the tasks for it. Um, I could use this like by itself. I could use this one by itself with notes. So I just thought this was like these are kind of acting as like filler paper I guess or fill paper for me. So I have that. And I think that's just all of those. Yeah, it's all the same. <clears throat> and then two more dividers and I have my stencil and my two pocket rose colored days thing. And then I have my tortoise shell DIY um, planner pouch, planner pocket guy in here. And then the back cover. So that is my classic size um, disc bound work planner. I don't know what I'm trying to say. My classic size horizontal <clears throat> five days a week work planner. So that's that. Next, we're going to move into my everyday planner. And you have seen many setups on this. This is going to be something different, um, uh, similar but different, I guess. I kind of want to show you, I don't know, or just give you some inspiration on how to set up a planner creatively I guess because there is there's like pockets I made in here I made this cover and by made I mean this is a doki book brand like plastic cover that you would clip in I have a DIY on the channel and how I made this and I decided I actually wanted it punched onto my planner instead of just being something like I, it's a big cover that you just clip in so now it has a snap and everything I have a DIY on this plans decal there like there's just gonna be so much glare if I open this up so and then I also made this planner cover so this is just a piece of um, three millimeter laminating pouch that I just ran through my laminator and then put my decal on and then I used you need a mink I'm just telling you right now you 100% need a mink because it's just a high heat laminator this I bought 10 mil laminating pouches off of daggum Amazon and I made myself a daggum planner cover like and it's like happy planner like I keep saying like quality it's thick it's nice and you need the power punch from we are memory keepers you need a mink and you just you need it you need a mink you need a mink so I'm gonna try to there's gonna be a bunch of glare let's see I don't know how to do this because there's going to be a bunch of glare. Is that even helping? Can you even see? So I put, I got these adhesive pockets from Amazon. Let me scoot myself down here from Amazon and let's see if we can do it maybe this way. Whoa. As I tear the club up, is that a little bit better? Okay. So this is the back of my planner cover. Um, I got these adhesive pockets on Amazon and there's a big one. I've gotten like some small ones and whatnot. And all I did was kind of build my own pockets. So I took the long one and I put it down and then I trimmed, I cut this top part and kind of curved it around. I don't know if you can see, like I kind of curved it around so that I could have like a secretarial type of pocket. And then I took a bigger pocket and sliced it open so I could have a pocket here and I stuck it on top. And then I have a smaller pocket here and another pocket here. Like it's just been 
if you want pockets in your planner and you know there's no way to put pockets in your planner these adhesive pockets are amazing let me see if i can go i'm gonna go find some so here's some more glare you may remember the adhesive pockets from target these are exactly like that only like bigger so this one is super long it's the one that i i kind of use my um what's that called box cutter exacto knife to kind of slice this open and then I use my scissors to round it and then i had a secretarial pocket and then i took something like this one let's see and then you have little business card pockets maybe not even this big something like this one you can even use this one maybe in like a mini happy planner and do the same thing you know, um, I use like this one and I laid it on top and I sliced it a little bit so it would be open here. And then I did two of those and then I did one of the business card ones. So these are so versatile. I am so excited that I actually found that these existed besides the little planner pockets from Target. So there's that and they fit some Happy Planner stickers that I have in here, um, stickers that I've made, stickers that I love, um, and I just put a sticky note here as well. So then we'll move on to here. I also have, I'm sorry, there's so much glare. How does anybody do this without the glare with all the acetate and stuff that we have in our planners? Daggum it. Um, this is from Rose Colored Days, a May calendar. Then, flip this over, still glary. I have a, it pocket, top loading pocket from Rose Colored Days. So much glare, how do we do this? Um, top loading pocket from Rose Colored Days with a Sagittarius like acetate journaling card in it. Then, behind that, I have Another set of task card things. I think this was designed for, are they going this way? I think this was designed for, I don't know. No, this is from Doki Book, I'm pretty sure. So they were specifically designed for classic, actually. I'm pretty sure they were designed specifically for classic. I just trimmed it down because yeah, not true A5. It's designed for classic. So anyway, um, I, Trimmed it down. This is the other half to the one that was in my work planner. Um, so this one, this one I want to create task cards that are like, I don't do my blog anymore, but for, for the most part, there is a post up. I don't know when this is going up, but the last post I did before the most recent post was a free sticker Friday. And then the most recent post I did was free sticker Pri Friday for a pride kit. But anyway, um, I want to do something for like YouTube tasks, Etsy, podcast, maybe Patreon, I don't know, and then like a morning and an evening or something kind of routine. I don't know. That's what I'm going to use for that. As here is some stuff that I have like notes that I want to make into those task cards um, for YouTube, Etsy kits and the podcast and some sizes for some stuff. Then we have a dashboard I made with Notique um, tissue paper. So I have a video on that as well. Then we move into another 12 what is this like four by three, two by two pocket page thing from the Happy Planner to put some inspiration in. I have my line it up checklist again. I think we can probably maybe lay this down. Then I have encourage your sticky notes. Actually, we gotta pick this up. Encourage your sticky notes. Another pocket page that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with yet. Punched in Notique notes. And then we can get into kind of what I want to also get into. Okay, so I have been making, I saw, oh, oh really Alana, Alana, oh really Alana. I found her on Instagram. I'm pretty sure I'd followed her maybe before and then I didn't realize it or something. I don't know. So she makes these like productivity pages. She just uses stickers and makes pages to use. And I was like, I have so many stickers. I need to just use them and be creative. And so this kind of satisf satisfies my need for that. I don't know how I'm going to use these yet, but I've just been making these pages. And the thing that held me back from them before is usually I think you're only going to make them on the front. And I was like, why do I even care? Just do it. Just make it on the front and just only have it on this side. It doesn't even matter. Why does it matter? So I have one that I use the planner I think it's called like planner babe kit not kit sticker book I'm trying to get the glare planner girl what's it called planner babe I think it is planner babe sticker book then I have one where I use the encourager sticker book um and again they're just pages to 
I don't know, use when you need a productivity page. And then one that's like um, a colorful life or something. It's a bunch of rainbows sticker book. I used a boss babe. I think it was like an accessory pack, I think they were called. So I used that to do this one. I used trendsetter. I think, did I make two trendsetters? I think I made two. Yeah, I made two trendsetter layouts. Or I guess trendsetter productivity pages. And then I have one where I'm actually gonna use this one to write down maybe affirmations or like something of the like. And you can see for this one, I turned a sheet upside down so I could use the graph paper or the dot grid rather than the lines. So that works too. And then this one I'm excited about because I kind of do want to be like tasks for Etsy, YouTube, and podcast. I think that would be pretty cool. And then this is, this is one of the first ones that I made using the Girl Power sticker book, I think. And then this one is using the original like um, Be Happy box that there was using the accessory pack from that and some colorful boxes. So there's that. Then we get into my dividers. I think I have a video on making dividers. I think I have a video just on how, like the vinyl projects I did in my planner, which this was one of them. I used the Happy Planner divider template in the shop and then I cut these little vinyl pieces with my Cricut as well and just stuck them on there. Um, but you will get into my weeklies. So we're in May right now. I will do a flip through. I'll show you the spreads, but I will do a flip through. I didn't fill this out because I realized I don't like, unfortunately, the paper that Cricut Paper Co. uses um, for their stickers. I can't write on it with the um, the pen that I use. And it makes me really sad because I really liked this Nickelodeon kit. I really liked it. Um, this is this current week. This is the week after. I really love this spread. I love it. I love it. And then, oh yeah, let's just do a flip here. This is the first week of June. Again, I need to fix my lights. First week of June. This is the second week of June. I'm waiting on a Juneteenth kit to do the third week of June. I think June is, is going to be Pride and then Juneteenth. So there's that. And then this is pretty much similar setup as before but I added something else. Last divider, let's put this here so we don't get some glare. Last divider is for my editorial calendar, if you will. This is a Project Life, what do you call this? Divider or something that came in a Project Life kit. By the way, this is a beautiful mess. This and the planner cover was a uh, papers and like accessories, whatever, from an A Beautiful Life project a beautiful mess project life collab like ages ago if y'all remember that at all so I made these little and I may I may have these I may put these in the shop these um monthly like week on no month on one page inserts and this is how I'm doing my editorial calendar um so I have this is more information about how podcasts are structured this is just my I don't know, editorial calendar out to like July. Then we have my stencils, which I will leave a link to. Some studio, I think it used to be MJG Studio, but I think it's like Studio Six Plans now. Stickers that are hand lettered looking like script font, I guess, headers. Then we go into, these are just, if ever a sticker, if ever I'm printing stickers and the sticker sheet doesn't work out, like it doesn't, I run out of ink, it doesn't print right, I forget to put the registration marks, like anything like that. I save that paper, I peel off the sticker, like the, the label paper that is messed up, and I trim it down and add the stickers that I use all the time to these guys. So then I have in my planner all the stickers that I use a lot, and I don't have to be going back and forth looking for them. Um, this is a two pocket um, envelope thing from uh, Rose Colored Days. But this is a four page or four pocket pocket protector thing from Happy Planner. I don't think they make these anymore. I really don't. And then months, some extra months that I have in here. 
I put my kits that I need that I'm currently using in here. I think there's a kit back here. Yeah, and then some just loose stickers. I have my pen loop. I think this is a print pression pen loop. Yeah, print pression pen loop and a ruler to draw my layouts. So that is my current setup. I'm gonna have extra papers just hanging out in there. My current setup of my like everyday functional, I guess maybe you would call it a catch-all. There's a sticker from Marcus on the back. Uh, planner but this is my everyday everyday functional planner so there's that my board is not straight okay so we had my work planner and my everyday planner and now we're gonna move into the faith planner that I'm trying to get back into so previously I was in the stargazer planner in 2020 and then I got out of it after there was quarantine I got into it and then I was called back to work and work was just everything so I got out of it I wasn't in it anymore uh so then I was like I need to get back into this I want to start doing my daily gratitude again I want to start using this as a way to I don't know be a part of like a devotional I guess I don't know I have I struggle with like wanting to be devoted and not knowing how, if that makes sense. So this is my happy grimoire, my pagan faith planner, like all of that. Um, I have a, I already have like a, it's the, the setup hasn't changed really. I already have like a flip through on it. And I did talk about in my podcast, um, how I set my, uh, happy grimoire up as well. So there is that, but this is just a monthly layout from the happy planner and I don't remember what it's called but it's got gold here and it says even the stars admire you and it's like they're I don't know it's like a celestial-ish type of planner um but so there's that I have this uh envelope in here that has something from lace and whimsy that says the moon it's like a little journaling card that was a part of an order at one point and this I think is from like the baby girl um line that they used to have um the happy planner used to have ages ago i don't know when i'm trying to get my board straight okay um then this if you go over to patreon and you join the five dollar a month tier you will get access to printables for every for nearly every uh, podcast episode that there is and a podcast is released every Wednesday so you can get up to like four to five planner insert printables a month and I made these in they're like reference pages to just like a chart or a graph or a guide or something uh, reference pages that I made to go along with the blog post and the um podcast so five dollars a month you'll also unlock the i'm changing it from printable of the month club to sticker club uh sticker kit of the month or something like that because i'm gonna just do planner inserts and then or like i don't know reference sheets i guess reference pages is what i'm kind of calling them so you'll get one of those every time that most of the time when there is a podcast release there are some off the top of my head that i know will not have um uh planner print planner inserts to go with them one of them coming up or it's, it's either coming up or is on its way or is published I'm not sure I just film videos and like schedule them out um but and it's about like diet culture and my postpartum experience there's not really going to be a printable for that but um so this is the printable long story short a printable is for my happy grimoire and it just has the sections kind of laid out for it I need to get a label maker and label these guys because I haven't done it yet. I do have this stencil that I use to draw like the moon, the moons and moon phases and stuff. So I have that in there. So our first section is my wheel of the year pages. You can probably hear the dog. I'm sorry. It's my wheel of the year pages. Um, so actually Litha is coming up. I'm filming this at the in middle is she end of May, but Litha is coming up in about a month. So there's Litha. I haven't filled out Maven or Samhain. And we have Imbolc. And Imbolc and Beltane are my favorite, but Imbolc and Beltane. Then we move into my section that's like got ritual prep in it that I copied from a previous uh, grimoire, I guess. I took out this part. Oh, this is candle colors. I didn't like it. So I think I took it, I took out second part 
so I didn't really like it but I have a section for planets I started this back in 2020 and I never finished it but I do have a section for like my Sun moon and rising sign how to set goals with the moon um, blank paper in here I think I also have a video on setting goals with the moon so I'll try and link that below then I have goddesses and other like correspondences this is Hera and then I have some other like I used to do something like new moon and full moon um separately so that I have June and then I have heck in November um then we get into like the faith planner part of it so I do have April and part of May from last year and you can see this is how I set up the full and the new moon stuff and that's what I plan to do this is from 20 21 no this is from 2020 this is also from 2020 this is 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 from 2020 <laughs> from 2020 and then I was like I need to get back into this so I grabbed up some more some old stargazer parts of the planner that I had and now this is for 2021 so I started in May 2021 we're currently on this week and I'm just writing gratitude every day this is what is this oh this is from last so this is this here is the second part to this and I'm just like kind of in the middle. I didn't even fill out this new moon part. I need to set these up. Maybe I will. And then this is June of 2021. So I made a little, uh, Litha is in June. I made a little altar here um, with some stuff that corresponds to Litha. You can see for May of 2020, I did the same thing for Beltane. So and I love the Stargazer dividers I love them so I'm gonna glue this together I'm not gonna use it then I already marked the new moon and the full moon I'm gonna go ahead and use this and then I'll just go through and write my daily affirmations daily affirmations new moon and full moon then we move into the actual guts of this planner here and we'll go into July I started kind of decorating it I don't it's not as like inspiring or as witchy or whatever as I would like it to be it's pretty plain which is good but I really don't like this page and I already put some stuff down I think this is like a Michael sticker pack I don't know how I like it but I do like these dividers so again I'll glue this together and then I will use this for um, I don't know some part some place I will do the new and the full moon I may cross this out and do new and the full moon things I want to study um, priorities whatever and then go into my daily gratitude so that's what I plan to I took I took these from the old planner the stargazer planner but I don't know if I'm going to use them if I'm going to cover this up or not I don't know I might have to put a sticker here we'll see because I really didn't like how plain these kind of ones were but we'll see so there's that I just have all of that in here oh and then I put some dividers Oh yeah, here's the rest of that candle magic stuff that I didn't like. Uh, la, la, la. So I took the dividers from the Stargazer and just put them in here because I really, really liked them. They're just so beautiful. I just heckin' love them. And then I made some, um, some stickers for myself, days of the week, signs. I took some stuff from the um, Stargazer planner here. Uh, this is what I thought I would could use for like these pages here I could use for like spells or something like writing them down I don't know if that's gonna work um these are like the headers that I want to put on my burn, burn, burn pages like this one said planets so I'm gonna do that then I have some days of the week and I think I have some crystal images I printed out here yeah so I could do some journaling about that but then yeah so that is my Pagan Faith Planner, my grimoire, if you will. So those are the three planners that I am using for 2021. Sorry for all the glare. I don't know what to do. Uh, but those are all the planners that I'm using for 2021. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you check out the podcast below. I will leave a link. You should be able to find it anywhere podcasts are served, um, but you can search 516 Podcast. And find me over on Instagram as well. I'm trying to grow my following over there, so go ahead and give me a follow there. And I will talk to my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.